Hi everyone, I'm Garrett. I got married and have a kid. I love my daughter so much, but now I don't even want to look at her. If you want to know what happened to me, please like and subscribe to the channel. A year ago, I was a famous model and actor. My career path was very good. I earned a lot of money, but the work was too stressful. So I wanted to work freely. My manager, Mrs. Desi, didn't want to lose a golden egg, so she planned to keep me. Garrett, this is my adopted daughter, your new assistant. Hi, my name is Linny. Where's my former assistant? Why did you hire a new one without consulting me? Your former assistant didn't work well, and I got fired, and I'm the manager. No need to consult you. You're truly evil. I don't do it anymore. You won't do it, so pay your contract and get out of here. Linny is gorgeous, with a sexy body, healthy tanned skin, and extremely attractive lips. Her personality is also quite cute, but I could not sympathize with her because she's Desi's adopted daughter. On the other hand, I could not disobey the request because of the manager's power. She always threatened to use her relationship to kick me out of the entertainment industry. Moreover, she arranged for Linny to stay with me for the sake of convenience for work. Linny, I don't like you, so please keep your distance from me except at work. I know. I apologize for mom's domineering, but she only wants the best for you. Shut up. I don't want to hear. Even though I was always angry with Linny, she never got upset because of it. At work, Linny was extremely proactive and professional. That made me feel a little less hateful about her. Besides, Linny cooked so well that the distance between the two of us was shortened. One day, Linny came home drunk. I angrily took Linny into the room, but she suddenly pulled me down on the bed and started kissing me. Surprised, I pushed Linny so hard that her face turned red with the shape of my hand. Feeling guilty, I got water to wipe her face to make her sober. When I returned to my room, I dropped the basin of water to my astonishment when I saw Linny undressing. I blushed and hurriedly went away, but Linny hugged me from behind. Babe, don't go! Despite her pleas, I tried to escape. The two of us squirmed and fell to the floor. She attacked fiercely. I wasn't strong enough to resist that temptation, and so that night, we were together. The next morning, when I was still sleeping safe and sound, I was awakened by Linny's shrill screams. Why are you here? Why are you yelling? You came and seduced me. No, no way. I was with my boyfriend yesterday. So, so you got drunk and saw me as your boyfriend? Maybe so. Anyway, please keep the secret for me. I know. I also don't want this to affect my career. After that, we kept our distance from each other more than before. I don't know whether it was intentional or unintentional, but the manager often created conditions for Linny to be near me, making me even more hostile to her. Two months after that night, today, Linny suddenly asked for a private conversation. She gave me a pregnancy test. I looked closely, rubbed my eyes several times, and still saw two clear lines. Don't tell me you're pregnant. I've taken birth control pills, but get in help. Damn, get an abortion. I don't want it to affect my career. Abortion? It's a life. It's your child. But my future is very important. You have a future, so does my daughter, okay? The manager suddenly appeared, surprising me and Linny. In my head, I wondered why there was such a coincidence. After that, Mrs. Desi called the two of us into a private room to talk. I've heard everything, Garrett. You're a brat with no conscience. Why do you want to leave the child like that? So how do you deal with it now? The two of you go and register your marriage. The child must be born. Impossible. I don't have feelings for Linny. I don't want to have a child. Mom, there's no need. I can take care of myself. Shut up. And you, you must be responsible for my daughter, or else I will let everyone know that you are the one who made my daughter pregnant but won't accept that truth. At that point, your career would be over. Here it is clear. 
Mrs. Desi used her daughter and pregnancy to force me. From now on, my life will depend on Mrs. Desi. If I go against her will, I'll have no place in the entertainment industry. This woman is so malicious. Bringing her daughter to live with me was for this purpose. I was stupid for not realizing this sooner. Having achieved her goal, she left Linny at my house to take care of her pregnancy. As for me, I received so many contracts that my schedule was tight. I was exhausted and I fainted on the stage. Then she severely criticized me. From that, I was lucky enough to have such a month off at home. I was going on a trip somewhere, but Mrs. Desi did not allow me, forcing me to stay at home to take care of Linny to nurture my feelings. I was helpless to argue with Mrs. Desi, so I took my frustration out on Linny. Don't eat fishy food. I'm very nauseous. Quit acting. If you can't stand it, don't hang around me. Go to your room. My health is so weak. Could you be more gentle? Before Linny finished her words, she ran to the bathroom. I don't care. Keep eating the stingray. Linny came out, opened the fridge to look for food, and continued to vomit, making me lose interest in eating. After all, you can't smell anything, can you? I have morning sickness. I can only eat vegetables and drink milk. I gave all the meat and fish in the fridge to the neighbors and bought lots of vegetables and frozen milk for Linny. I was not doing this because of love for her. I just felt so bad that my days off were constantly disturbed by the sound of her vomiting. With only a week of morning sickness, <gasps> Linny lost a lot of weight. Even worse, she was even vomiting vegetables. I tried giving her a lot of food, but all she could eat was pumpkin and sweet potato. I've seen a lot of pregnant women, but no one was as terrible as Linny. Being with her, I even got sick of it. At this time, I understood Linny's fatigue, so I was less annoyed with her. One day, she suddenly fainted. Taking her to the clinic, the doctor said that the reason was that Linny couldn't eat. Fortunately, the fetus was not affected much. The doctor let me see the ultrasound image of the baby and listen to the fetal heart. For some reason, my eyes were stinging at that time. Your stomach is moving. She's pedaling. Can't you feel her? That little foot really kicked my cheek. <laughs> she probably hated me because I used to want to leave her, so she kicked me so hard. I was moved to cry because of my rash actions. It's a girl. Is, Is it, it a, a girl? girl? So, so great. great. We looked at each other, involuntarily <laughs> smiling. Since we both like girls, we specially redecorated the bedroom to a cute pink color. I personally bought so many clothes and toys for my daughter that Linny was jealous. That's a lucky girl. She's already been loved by her father before she was born. Seeing that the whole house was full of girls' things without Linny's part, I realized that I was too careless. I began to pay more attention to Linny so that I could always help her when she was in trouble. Linny's mood was happier than before. She gradually stopped having morning sickness and ate a lot. Just as she got better, I ended up taking a month off vacation. This time, I asked Mrs. Desi not to accept many contracts so that I could go home and take care of Linny. Fortunately, she agreed. In the last two months, Linny ate so much that she gained 33 pounds. The abdomen was larger, so it was difficult for her to move, and the legs were swollen and often painful. Seeing that, I was very sad, so whenever I had free time, I would go home to take care of Linny. You may not believe me, but I still have to say this. I have no intention of approaching you. Don't think about it anymore. Let's think of happy things so that your daughter can be born happy too. As soon as I finished talking, Linny suddenly clutched her stomach and grimaced. Neither she nor I thought we were going to give birth because our due date was 20 days away, but Linny's pain was getting worse and worse, so I rushed her to the hospital. Linny was in pain for six hours. I was by her side, encouraging her, but when I saw Linny's pain so much that led her to faint, I couldn't hold back my tears and cried. I held Linny's hands tightly, repeatedly reassuring her 
Come on, it'll be fine. I'm here with you. It's okay. Finally, my daughter was born healthy. I trembled to hold her, not daring to move for fear of making her fall. Seeing the little girl being red and crying made me extremely happy. I hugged her and put her on Linny's lap. Shall we call her Sadie? From that moment, the distance between the two of us almost faded. I hugged mother and daughter, feeling the greatness of being a father. My little daughter cried a lot. She was fussy, which made Linny extremely tired. Linny didn't get much sleep, so she also became more aggressive. I watched Linny ignore Sadie's cries, sitting in a pile with earplugs, glaring at our child. To find out later, Linny suffered from postpartum depression. Because of giving birth, Linny changed her appearance, becoming fat, untidy, and ugly. Seeing her like that, I felt so sorry that I decided to take a leave to take care of my daughter and help my wife. Look at my belly fat. Do you think I'm ugly? Why do you say? You're always pretty. Don't go on the diet because of weight loss. Really? Then buy me pizza. Yes, let me put the baby to sleep and order it for you. She's growing up really fast, isn't she? Look at those blue eyes with dimples. She looks like you. Well, like father, like daughter. As Linny said, I just noticed my little girl grew up too fast. I suddenly had an idea to film videos of me and my daughter to capture all these cute moments. Unexpectedly, Mrs. Desi came to visit my family and secretly posted the videos I filmed on the internet. I was afraid the fans would turn their backs on me because I got married. But on the contrary, overnight, my Instagram account increased by 100,000 followers. Mrs. Desi, why did you release the video without consulting me? I've counted it all. These days, you have rested quite a lot, earning less money. It's good now. You have a lot of followers and baby Sadie is loved by your fans. You can also live stream to earn money at home. She's gone crazy. You take advantage of a child to make money? I did this because I was worried about the future of my granddaughter and daughter. If you don't go to work, how can you make ends meet? I got angry and kicked Mrs. Desi out of my house. Although I hate it, I have to admit that the manager did it well. I don't need to keep my family a secret anymore. After that day, I regularly post videos and photos of my daughter on social media. She's so cute that fans love her so much. What I really like is reading fan comments. Baby Sadie is so cute. She looks so much like her dad. You'll be as beautiful as your father in the future. Every day I see my daughter growing up, I always feel joyful. <laughs> Time flies so fast. My daughter was about to turn one year old. On the day of the birthday party for my daughter, my father also came. When he saw me holding my daughter out to sunbathe without covering, he scolded. Do not let her be directly exposed to the sun. It's easy to sneeze. Don't you remember you had Achu syndrome sneezing in the sun? What my father said startled me. Three generations of my family indeed inherited this strange syndrome. But my daughter, who's been exposed to the sun many times, is unharmed. I found it a bit odd, but didn't think much of it. She's fine. She's lucky she didn't inherit the disease. But a few days later, a strange man came to my house. Hi, I'm Jude, Linny's ex-boyfriend. What made you find me? Sadie, it's my daughter. Give me back my baby. Are you crazy? Get out of here before I get angry. <sighs> Linny didn't tell you. The day she got drunk, she stayed with me and then came back to see you. You made it up. Look closely. Sadie, she looks just like me. These blue eyes, these dimpled cheeks. We don't need to argue. Get a DNA test. I got angry and chased the man away. Everyone said Sadie looked like me. There was no way she could be that bad guy's daughter. But what he said constantly tormented my mind. Plus the fact that she didn't inherit the sneeze syndrome, my confidence was shaken. I silently hugged my daughter and accompanied Jude to the hospital. When the results were returned, I tremblingly held the test paper in my hand, hardly believing my eyes. 
I immediately found Linny and asked her, Linny, what's going on with this? Linny took the test sheet. After reading it, was so shocked that she dropped the paper. I, I really don't know. Did you forget? We met that day to mend our love. I took you home and saw Garrett take you in. Linny recalled and confirmed it. After listening to it, I broke down. The whole person had no strength. After Linny informed Jude, he said that he needed to arrange accommodation for Linny and his daughter, so he didn't come back to pick them up until three days later. I couldn't accept the truth with pain and coldly yelled at Linny to quickly pack up and leave the house. I'm sorry, I was so drunk. I don't remember what happened to Jude, but I didn't intend to deceive you. Go away now! My scream startled Sadie. She cried, and Linny couldn't stop her no matter what. Half an hour passed, and she was still crying. I was heartbroken. I couldn't bear to take her again, and comforted myself. Holding my daughter in my arms, I kept hoping that what happened earlier was just a dream. I never thought that one day my daughter would leave me. I was holding my baby while crying. Linny, after that, without me, you have to try to take care of yourself and the baby. Sadie, you must also be good. If you cry, I'll be very exhausted. Three days went as fast as the blink of an eye. When Jude arrived, I saw helplessly as Linny and Sadie went without being able to do anything. I hate Mrs. Desi. It was her who created this suffering. Mrs. Desi, you have nothing to force me now. I'll terminate my contract with you. Everything was settled, and I went home. House was empty. Everything happened so fast that I couldn't get used to it right away. Although I was the victim, during that time, I used to be very happy. <laughs> I drank really hard to temporarily forget the loneliness. But half a month has passed. I miss Linny and my daughter, and I can't stand it anymore. So I called Mrs. Desi to ask where Linny was. I drove there, silently standing outside the door and watching. You can't make your child to make money. Why not? I learned from your adoptive mother. It was she who gave me the money to leave you. But then you were so beautiful I couldn't. My mother wouldn't do such a thing. You're such a coward to be taken advantage of. It was she who told me to drug you and take you home with Garrett. Bastard! Shut up! I brought you home because the famous Sadie could make me money. And an ugly thing like you. Without letting him finish his sentence, I burst into the door and punched him in the face, <laughs> causing him to fall uh. over. I didn't stop and kept hitting him. Lucky for that guy, because huh? Linny was trying to stop me. Garrett, take me to get away from here. Linny's face was covered with bruises. It made me feel so sad. I wanted to hit Jude more to get revenge, but I had to resist because of Linny. I will sue you for assaulting me. You're going to go to jail. I hugged my daughter and held Linny's hand and took the two of them home. Throughout the day, Linny couldn't stop crying. <laughs> After knowing the truth, I loved her even more. I wiped Linny's tears and hugged her. Please don't cry. I'm sorry, I can come back to you. Linny took Sadie to leave. I tried to stop her, but couldn't. Thinking back, we've been together for over a year, but haven't held a wedding yet. I needed to do something to make up for Linny's loss, so I decided to propose to Linny and get married. After hearing Lily's news, Mrs. Desi deeply regretted it, so she contacted me to ask for forgiveness. The person you need to apologize to is Linny. You ruined her whole life. I asked Mrs. Desi to find Linny to apologize. She promised to do so and even asked me to allow her to participate in the wedding preparations to make up to Linny. She knew she was wrong anyway, so I accepted the offer. I asked Mrs. Desi to find a way to get Linny to the wedding party on time. According to the plan, Mrs. Desi lied to take Linny to the wedding of a close friend. When Linny arrived at the venue, huh? I suddenly appeared from behind Linny with a huge bouquet. I knelt at Linny's feet. Linny, although Sadie is not my biological daughter, I love her very much, and I love you too. 
Will you marry me? Don't you hate me? No problem. No matter what, I still love you. I put the ring on Linny's finger. Then I hugged my daughter and led the mother and daughter onto the stage. I saw Linny shed tears along with a happy smile. <laughs> it shows that Linny has accepted me. At this moment, having a blood relationship with me doesn't matter anymore because my love for Linny and Sadie was too big to take over my heart.